YouTube. Welcome to Geek. Shh. Okay, so we got to talk about some cases here. Uh, this is just a few cases right here that I have. Um, when I decided that I was going to upgrade my phone, I started checking out some 15 Pro Max videos, and I felt like Banks had some really nice cases, in my personal opinion. So these are two that I'm just trying out to see how I like. So let's start off with the first one. And it comes in a little plastic. And then you gotta just, you know, take off that little tape at the bottom, then you pull it out. All right. So you just put that to the side. And then on here, you just gotta pull it off this little, this little thing right here. So boom. So you pull it off and that's that. So here's the case. So it's a black case. This particular case is, this particular case is the Banks Armor Pro case for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, compatible with MagSafe, military grade drop protection, shock proof, built with DuPont Kevlar 600D, Aramid fiber, and it's in black. So my initial thoughts when I uh, got this is, it feels amazing. It really feels great when you touch it. Now it's not Aramid all around on the sides. It's not Aramid, but on the back of it is Aramid. It has the little protection for the camera. So your camera is protected. It has a little lip on the back of it. On the front of it, it has the mag safe. So you already have that. And it has just a little lip on it. Now, what I really think about when it comes to the case, first of all, let's put it in, let's put it on the phone. That's number one. Let's go ahead and put it on the phone. Here go my iPhone 16 Pro Max. Let me take this one off. So I'm gonna talk about this case in a minute too. So this is my iPhone 16 Pro Max. So let's go ahead and put this one in there. Uh, put it on this side first. Side with the most buttons, put it on that side. And then it should snap. Snap right there, snap right there. All right? So boom, here you go. So now it's on there. So the lip is pretty good in my honest opinion, just a little lip so that when you put the phone down, it's not touching the screen. And also you gotta remember, I have a screen protector on here as well. So it's not interfering with the screen protector at all. It comes in handy. Also up here at the top, it has a little cutout for the speaker. So that's good as well. So this is pretty nice. Now, my initial opinion on this when I touched it is this really feel like some, a next level case, a real nice case. It don't feel like something that you use every day. Honestly, this feel like something when you uh, put it on your suit, you get in suited and booted. You got to go somewhere special. You about to pull up with your lady. Y'all going to a nice uh, birthday or something. You pulling up to no boot. Like, you know what I mean? You pulling up to a nice restaurant. You know what I mean? You suited and booted. You got your hard bottoms on. If you're going somewhere like that, going to a wedding, you know what I mean? Or if you someone that work in an office and you got board meetings and that type of stuff, this what this feels like. This feels like one of those type of cases you take to those places. Real upscale, when you're going somewhere real nice. Got the car wash, you got the hard bottoms on, you got the Hugo Boss suit on, you know what I mean? You, you, you dress real nice, you know, dress for success. This is what this feel like. It doesn't really feel like a everyday case to me, but that's just my opinion. To you, you might feel like that's the way to go. Is this, it's at, it has military grade drop protection, so your phone is protected. You add a screen protector on this, you're never really gonna have issues at all because it's covering all the buttons, except for this one. This is a hole, but I can't see you really dropping it and ever hitting that particular part. But it has drop protection, so you ain't gotta really worry about nothing if you ever drop it. So it's pretty damn good, to tell you the honest truth, but I just feel like if you're someone that work construction, I probably would get something else other than that. You know, if you work in construction, you need something, you need the real full coverage, but this is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. So let's pull out the other one and let's check it out and see what this, this other one is like. So this other one is a real thin case. This is the Banks iPhone 16 Pro Max case compatible with MagSafe 
Passion Green Armor Air, built with DuPont Kevlar 600D Aramid Ultra Slim and Lightweight Minimalist Case, and it's multicolored, right? So let's check this one out real quick, and then we'll talk some more about the comparisons between the two. So you just gotta tear off the little sticker that got down here, and then you could bring the case out. And be careful, be careful when you bring in this case out for the simple fact that, uh, let's just take this off. All right, and that's it for this case. Let's go ahead and put this to the side. So be very careful when you get in this. Uh, they have a sticker right here. Say if you remove this sticker, it cannot be returned. I don't know if they could really enforce that, tell you the honest truth, not in the United States. I can't really see that because at the end of the day, what a sticker got to do with the overall product. But nonetheless, it has the MagSafe right here and it's really thin right here. Like this one has a good texture to it. You can really feel it as you rub it. Whereas this one is just smooth. It's just smooth. This one has indentations that you can feel it. It feel like, you know, low budget alligator skin, just to, you know, not, not saying this is a low budget case at all, but what I'm saying is that's just to give you a little, you know, glimpse into what it really feels like when you feel in it, like you could feel it better. If you're someone that like the texture when you're uh, touching your phone, that's what you get more with this one, even though this one feels smooth as well. So let's take the case off this one and put this one on. So first and foremost, how you remove this case, because a lot of people out there will break their case if they're trying to remove it. First and foremost, you just want to start from here. You want to just hold on before I break my own damn thing. You want to just remove it from here. You want to start by pushing in one of the open areas by your camera and then pushing it back. That's how you get it. So once you get that part, then you could go for the other parts. Oh man, I got to push it again. Hold on. All right, boom. Now you got your case off. Don't break your phone trying to remove the case. So you got that one off. Let's put that one to the side and let's put this one in. I'm gonna put it from this side and then boom. So it feels good right there. So. When you got it right here, um, my, my initial thoughts, it's really too thin. Like this is for people that really want a thin case and you really feel it when you do that. You don't really have any, uh, you don't really have any type of real drop protection. All your buttons are exposed. Your buttons on the sides, they all exposed. I can really, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I don't really like the fact that it doesn't have a lip. Being that it doesn't have a lip to me, I, it looked better when before I tried it out, before I ordered it just to try it out, it looked better to me online when I was looking at it. But in person, I don't really like it like that. I really, I am someone that liked the lip around the phone, tell you the honest truth. But this is a real thin case for people that don't really want, people that just wanna you know, feel something when they're touching their phone, but they don't necessarily want a case. You know what I mean? They don't want a lot of you know protection. If you drop this, I really feel like you're going to have some issues, even with the screen protector. But nonetheless, it definitely feels nice. You know, what I mean, this feels more like an everyday thing with this one. I don't feel like it's an everyday, everyday thing. But with this one, it feels like an everyday thing. You know, what I mean, if you just, you know, you just like a little grip, you like a little texture when you're touching your phone. You just don't want you just don't want to go bareback, you know, with your phone. That's what it feels like. So let's check the MagSafe. Small, let's check the MagSafe. So I got a little MagSafe, um, the new one that they got 25 watts. Nonetheless, that don't really matter. What the hell going on here? Maybe I should have turned this nonsense off. Anyway, yeah, you see it, you see it for yourself. Like the, the mag, the magnet is crazy. So you definitely ain't got to worry about that. If your phone ain't dropping. Oh, I guess you gotta, you know, do it real real hard to really get it to drop. But nonetheless, you're gonna have, your MagSafe is gonna definitely grip onto it. So let's try the MagSafe on this one as well. So with this one, the same way as the other one, you wanna just pull it back from the sides. Let's see if we could get it without ripping the sticker, because these people, I mean, first of all, let me turn off my phone. And you just wanna hold this. Let me turn my phone off, man. All right, phone is off. 
So now let's see if we can get this off without ripping the sticker and having those type of issues. I heard a lot of people breaking their phone trying to get this thing off, man. All right, so I got it. Okay, so I was able to get that one off, but nonetheless, this is it right here. Hopefully you can see it. It's a pretty nice case, but I don't really like the fact that it doesn't have a lift. Let's put this one back on. Uh, Let's do this side. I like to do the side with the buttons first. All right, put that one back in. And then on that side, boom. So we got that in there and then let's check the mag on that phone turning on, goddamn. All right, so it's the same way with this one. You ain't really dropping the phone like that. You gotta really do something hard to drop the phone. But nonetheless, that's how that one is. And the mag, it's definitely charging up. So it definitely, the magnet definitely works. So it's a pretty nice case. It just, it feel real smooth. Like I said, it just feel like something when you're, you know, going somewhere nice. It don't feel like an everyday case, but that's just the feeling I get. You might feel different. If I was definitely working in the office, like I said, I would definitely, in a corporate office situation, environment, I would definitely have this every day. Now, out of the two, I'm definitely sending this back because this is just not for me honestly but this one i'm going to keep but i'm not going to use it every day tell you how it's true well i'm definitely going to keep it but i'm not going to use it every day i believe this particular one this cost me about uh 35.99 which is pretty expensive for a case but at the end of the day you got that military grade drop protection you ain't got to worry about your phone breaking when you drop it so it i think it works out you know 35.99 for the next however many years you keep your phone I think it's a you know a good deal when you look at it from that aspect. This one costs forty nine ninety nine. Honestly, I don't really think this is worth fifty dollars. Tell you the honest truth, if it come down to the thirty dollar range like the like this other one, then okay. But fifty dollars, I'm sorry, that's not for me. Now the case that I do have is this case right here that I'm using. Now I bought this about. I want to say about a month or two before the iPhone 16 release, I bought this case. I bought it off of AliExpress. I bought two of them, right? It's just a silicon case. This one is still in the wrapper, right? It's just a silicon case. So when I got it, I didn't really feel nothing for it. I, I was just like, ah, oh, this is a little BS case until my phone comes. Now, until my phone get here, and then that's why I ordered these as soon as um, I placed my order for the phone. I ordered these Banks cases. So I thought I was just gonna use this for a few days, like a day or two, and then switch over. But bruh, when I finally put this phone into this case, this little BS silicon case, when I put this phone in there and it start fitting like a glove, I'm not gonna lie to you. I said, no, I really like this case. <laughs> this little $1.50 case that I got from AliExpress, I really like it. I like it a lot. This feel like an everyday case. You see how on this one, I said that it feel like something when you go into the office or something like that, when you got a special occasion, this feel like something just every day. Every day, this is just feel like an everyday case. It feel just good enough. You see what I'm saying? Anywhere you going, you know what I mean? And this one, it feel like you gotta be going, you walking in Nordstrom's with this one. This one, you can go anywhere with it. Nordstrom's, you can go up, you can pull up in, Walmart, you know what I mean? Wherever you're going. This is what this feels like, tell you the honest truth. But nonetheless, let's look at the MagSafe on this. I'll put a link to this one if you want to order it from AliExpress. Like I said, it's only a dollar and 50 cent. If you order $10 worth of items, you ain't even got to pay for shipping. So with the MagSafe, you're not really, it doesn't have MagSafe. MagSafe don't really come on silicon cases like that. And you can't even get like, you know, one of those, uh, you know, little magnet rings so you can use MagSafe. It doesn't really have that. But nonetheless, your phone can still charge with it. It still can charge with this little inexpensive one. But the problem is you're not gonna have, it's not gonna stick on. <laughs> you, can just, you can lay it on there, but it's not gonna stick on there like that. You're not getting that to do that. But 
Nonetheless, I really like this case right here, and I'm definitely going to keep this as my everyday case, but I'm also going to keep this one for, you know, when I'm going somewhere nice, you know what I mean? Pull this one out, pop it on there, you know what I mean? But other than that, I'm definitely sending this one back and make sure you keep the sticker on there. So if in case you don't really like it, you can send it back for your refund because I don't even if you do remove, I don't even understand what they're doing with that sticker. There's no way in the United States returning the item full intact could be stopped because of a damn snicker. Maybe in some other countries, not in the United States, but nonetheless, that's all I feel about these cases. Hopefully y'all like the video. Um, I personally think Banks has the best looking cases out of every other person I've seen out there. Like I said, this is gonna be every day. This is gonna be once in a blue moon and this is being returned. Anyway, this is DeMarco Payne for Geek. Shh. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And the next video, I believe, will be, I will have more 16 Pro Max content. Please make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.